I just want to show you really quickly how to identify uh, stretches, okay? Because this is really important, and this is something that, that students get caught up on. Now, this example, unfortunately, is a parabola, but it is fortunate in a way that I can show you how to consistently determine whether you have either a horizontal stretch or a vertical stretch, because sometimes they look very similar. So what I mean is, for this one here, you might look at this parabola, okay? You might just look at this and say, Mr. Maxwell, this is obvious that g of x is a, um, it's a horizontal compression, okay? That's what it totally looks like. That's exactly what it is. But someone else might say, Mr. Maxwell, that is incorrect. As a matter of fact, this is a vertical stretch. It's plain to see. Okay, so the question remains, who's right and who's wrong? Or is there a way you can tell? So what we would do is, so if you were the first person, and you said, and I'm just going to blow this up maybe just a little bit more, okay? If you were the first person and you said, Mr. Maxwell, this is, comp this is a horizontal compression because I look at this 2 for an x value, and I see where the y value is, and if I divide this by 2, if I go to 1 here, then look at that. That point lines up exactly. So that is a horizontal compression or a stretch by a factor of one half. So, Mr. Maxwell, it appears that B is one half. And, and you can't just take one point. You have to make sure it's consistent with all the points. So if you check this one, you better go along and you better say, okay, if X is 3, this is where X is 3, this is the Y value for X is 3. If I go to one half, I better have the exact same y value, which you know what? You do. If you go to 4 here and you go back one half to 2, you better have the exact same y value. And as a matter of fact, you do. So do you see how you got to check this? Now you can say this is totally a horizontal compression and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this b value one half. How do I how do I do that? So g of x, right? I have x squared and I have to put a b value there. So what b value am I going to put? Is it going to be 1 half? Is it going to be 2? Um, what's it going to be? Okay, so this right, this right here is sort of a, uh, is this right or wrong? Is b value 1 half or is this the compression? Is this what it ends up looking like? It ends up looking like this. So this is actually not b, this is 1 over b. So yeah, I got to put a 2 inside there. Does that make sense? Okay, so this is, the one half is actually one over B. Because it's compressed by half. Now, the other person comes along, <clears throat> excuse me, and says, well, that looks fine, but I can prove to you that there's another way to, to show this. That it's actually a vertical stretch. And so you'd have to check it. And with this one, what you're going to find is that it's going to work. And so you can actually write this parabola two different ways. Because if you look at 2 here, and you know the y value is 4 at this point, right? This is 2, 4. And so if you stretch this by a factor of 4, you get the point 2, 16. See that? So the person that says this is a vertical stretch, well, it looks like it might be. What's this one? This one is uh, about what? That's 2. So this is 1, 1 here on an x squared. So if you multiply the y value of 1 times 4, you get 4. So see, that's all times 4, too. Um, what about 3? I don't know if we've got 3 on here. Uh, or, sorry. 3 would be here, right, at about this point. That's 3. And so times 4 should be 12. Yeah, it looks like we do have 12 there. Okay? So all these are checking out, and this looks like it's times 4. So someone could come along and say you know what, this x squared here, we could put an a value of 4 there, and you both would be right. <coughs> okay? So, you have to, my point is that you have to check all the points, if you think it's a vertical stretch, check several points to make sure that lines up. Because some things can look like a vertical stretch, but they're actually a compression. Okay? Questions?